Happy birthday! Woo! <laughs> I hope you're hungry. <laughs> Santa Claus? <laughs> yeah. Hey, little buddy. It's Santa Claus. I'd be dropping him off down at fucking Curly's or something. This is where I picked you up? Oh. What, what are we looking at today? <laughs> wow. Live, laugh, lurk. Double IPA collaboration with Falling Knife uh, Brewing Company from <coughs> Drecker, the Pecker Wrecker. Another one where I tell you... I, I tell you, there's... You said it's a collab with Falling Fall. Knife. I, mean, yeah. I don't know if I've ever heard of them. I, I have not heard of them. But if you see the little picture, the symbol of Falling Knife, we've all been there. Right, Wade? Where? The guy's thumb is chopped off. Oh. You know when you're busy fucking around with, say, something like this? I was that... looking at the main... Oh! Oh. Oh, yeah. 1666. What? I wonder what was on her agenda. Oh, Jesus. Hey, we have to go back. Do you see that one? No. A, a personal. I turned around and looked. A personal favorite. She's not bad, but. Oh, I don't care about her face. I don't know if I'd say she's a favorite. I, I just, for some reason, that just looks like hopping on a dirt bike. <laughs> ming, 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 ming. <laughs> hey, you know what? <laughs> Boy, people are gonna start getting their uh, their their little hearts. Oh yeah, yeah, we're day drinking. Oh Jesus! Matter of fact, I took a sip. I was almost foaming over. I'm sorry. Matter of fact, we probably are gonna have to hit the uh, hit the skids on this one. You know, day drink. And chain smoke. Um, well, let's be honest. I actually feel horny. I could go for some pussy. No, I actually feel pretty decent considering I had three beers before this show. Oh, I'm not lagging that far behind. So and okay. uh, two 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 bumps of my okay. Johnny, I'm behind. Two bumps of my Johnny Walker. Too bad it's not two bite, two bumps of my Johnny. <laughs> now see, I could go for her. She's way better than the one you pointed out. Okay, well I'm sitting here getting more sober. Same with her. <laughs> it definitely smells tropical fruity. Doesn't taste overly. I'm oh, sorry, but I'm sure it'd be a buzzkill. I mean, it tastes tropical, but not. Not overly strong. It's actually like um, hey, hey, two breweries got together and created the same fucking flavor profile as everybody. Else. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's actually it's. Hey, when I stop, it's a smooth IPA with I, a I, little I, bit of like fruit to it, but I, it's not. I mean, it's not. It's not fruity or tropical at all. It's really um, when I stop mellow in that for a aspect. moment. It was like I had nothing but a piece of pineapple. And then that went away. It's super smooth. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's beer laxative. Yeah, it's... it's Absolutely. But, but like, the sweetness, there's no sweetness. There's, no, there's no, none. no. It's, 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 the perfect, and it's the perfect level as far as I'm concerned. It's not really overly fruity. Like you said, maybe the pineapple you notice. Hey, Matt. But I wouldn't say hey, it's Matt. like a mixed cocktail of fruit. Come over here. I have something to show you. Yeah, whoa, hold on, let me pause you right there. I got something to show you. Whoosh, right on her forehead breaks her <laughs> sunglasses in half. Okay. Oh, this cannot take all day. We will get this done in less than four <laughs> and a half hours. Is that when Christine comes home? Oh, no, we got more time now that you mention it. Oh, wait a second. No, four and a half hours I should be starting dinner. She's uh, she's done on the earlier time schedule. What are you doing for dinner tonight? I went to the hippie store and I bought some mild Italian sausage because they didn't have hot. And I'm making one pot pasta. Well, if we get done early enough, I haven't eaten dinner or breakfast. I've got um, five or six 
brats with bacon in them. I don't know what they are. The Viking brats, I think they call them. I'm not necessarily saying I'm going to come over and eat any of those. But I might but come over I've, and smoke and drink with you. Eat, yeah, and then tell Christine I... I never got around to that shit back there that I said I was going to take care of today. I was busy with Matt looking at his new grill, seeing how it works, because I know we're getting the same one. I just, you know, I was on a reconnaissance mission. He's right. I'll back up to before I turn the camera on. Christine needs to come over. She was uh, she was <laughs> over with uh, J-Dog and him. Uh, I went home. This is what I said. She needs to come over to my... She needs to come all back over to my place more often. She has no problem spending money over at my place. No shit! What did I hear? You, we're down to blah 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 on our checking account and you know it's below where I feel comfortable. So no more spending. And I'm thinking, oh god, I'm just gonna have to like buy beer with my cash, which She's is gonna, only gonna last too he's long. He's gonna be sucking dick outside Super One Liquors. Oh god, yeah, with my sign, we'll suck cock for beer. And I'm like, oh, so that, so, so she goes over there. Matt's t giving her the fucking run by on how great his grill is well, and no, how it's asked. holding up. And she asked. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Next thing you know, it's the buy it now fucking button. It'll be here on Friday. Oh, okay. I did actually really laugh. <laughs> I still though. That's fucking less than half than I spent on it though. There's only two models I found on the market. That have the grill, griddle oh, it's, combo. It's a lot of grill, and I would. There's I only would, two I found. There might be a couple more, but they are so rare. And you, it, they're, they're, here, here's you the strange thing: without knowing what you paid for yours and how you've been enjoying yours for a year now, I would have passed because it's gotten so cheap. Something's got to be wrong with it. A lot of people are saying that they're rusting out early. Well, I don't think that they're taking care of their stuff. Christine wants it put in the grill when we're not using, or the garage when we're not using well, it, like I, you're doing. I, I, yeah, I put it in the garage, but I also have a cover for it if it's out, you know, when I leave it out in the summer. See, now I, I watched know, the I heard, video on I heard, that. I know you told me. I heard. They fucking rust out just as fast with a cover on them because the moisture comes up underneath and gets trapped by the cover. I do it more so animals don't crawl all over it and also okay, when, I know. It, when it somebody rains, has a squirrel it, fetish when it when it <laughs> well, no, but when it rains it it's, he, he puts on the mill when it rains it patters dirt all over it and then the tree we have the tree falling shit all the time and that sticks all over the grill so that's why I cover it you hear that hear the I don't cover it for the rust I don't cover it for the rust I'll burn that shit off the next day. I you I, I use here's the thing. If 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 you use your grill once a week, it should last you seven years for how much I use it. I use my grill damn near every day. Oh we we got our money's worth on the one that we have. Sometimes I use my grill sometimes I use my grill two, three times a day. I use my grill a lot. I cook almost every meal on it, no joke. Hell, did I, I didn't tell you. I fucking cooked pizza on it last week. You said you were going to. Yeah, I did it. I haven't done that for a while. Wait says, I do that all the time. I No, I used to when I was a kid growing up. I actually tried it with uh, some DiGiorno. It turned out pretty badass. The crust was very nice and crispy. Not burnt, just very nice and crispy. Well, actually what Wade said is he pre-cooks for a while in his uh, in the house to make sure that the crust is f uh, firmed up enough because he's it's a thinner crust and then he puts it out there with because he's uh, got the oak chips and shit to give it that oaky flavor so it's like jacking off before you get into a vagina well at least like like sort of like I guess it would be a uh, uh, pre-fluffing That's why we built the pizza. Hey, you know what? Whatever makes you happy. I'm not here to judge. We built the pizza oven, and what I really wish I could find is someone that's trashed one of the brick oven pizzas like they have at VIP, and then cut my two foot by two foot piece so I could actually have an actual authentic brick oven insert in it. Because right now I'm using shit I bought at Menards that 
was never intended to be hot, and it shows because I keep wrecking it. Cracks, them. yeah, it cracks. What? Why don't you look up like a high temp concrete block or pad like that? Well, I'm or sure just I'm even look up how to make one. You could, we can literally, dude. You ain't even working right now. Yeah, I am. You know how? I'm you know how? I'm working on a case right now. You know how easy it is to look that up online, see what material they use, or whatever kind of concrete special special concrete they might have to use, and all we gotta do is make a small, small little uh, case for it, pour it, to pour it in. Mm, Doesn't even have to look perfect. Hell, we can use the boards I got in my garage. I got boards. Put a little tape down so it's uh, somewhat sealed tight and you're not leaking. Jolson says more cowbell, but it's on the wrong video, so under contractual obligation. Mm. Now that is literally a, a damn near about as perfection as you can get. I, I don't, I don't care if you want to argue. That's. And Jelson says we need more cowbell on the right video, but it's too soon into the video, so. Jelson, go fuck yourself. Multi gunman <laughs> says as long as it's filled with whiskey, and then Jelson says cowbell whiskey shot. Sealing that up. It's like drinking me, an entire cowbell. It's like me. Ta it's like me taking a piss. You know, you just got to keep shaking it off. Otherwise, you get the drip. You don't want the drip. Hey, I've got this that um, Tardisia sent me. It's actually a genius. This is one shot. If you flip it upside down and fill the bottom, two. it's two shots. Balls in there. Yeah, yeah. I always knew you liked your balls. I don't know what this, this fell off or something. I think. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna put that right there for now. But this was a uh, an Ebomi Second Amendment P Participation Award. I don't even know if he realized how cool he was when he sent it. One shot, two shots. <laughs> oh, he knew. <laughs> Plus I got oh god everything that I got stuff in my crack. Is this, is this my Chris Kyle? Yes. Dude, it's funny that you got this Napa car here. How long ago did you get this? Oh, that just bounced off my foot and went straight back to the wall. Never see that again. Bye bye, fucker. Jesus Christ, they give up. Because I swear that was on their front cover of the magazine for the or calendar for the year, one of the years I was working there. It's the same fucking, same damn thing. That is, um, that, that was available at Napa in 80? Well, I wasn't working oh, there no. in 80. No, 2009. This was a promo, the Crown Premium promo in 2009. Yeah, that's what I thought. This was old. This was older. They had they had a magazine with that on the the front cover, and that was I think I was working there around uh, any time between 2001 and 2005. I know I wasn't there for the full four years, but somewhere in that time range. A deplorable coin. I can't lose that. I don't know what magazine it was, if it was their racer series or their part series, oh. but they had that same fucking car. This is it's a beautiful uh, car, don't get me wrong. It's I, I just laughed because it's when I say same, I mean everything. The same color. I guarantee you they model it off the same car. It has a, a hood that reopens and reviews a very detailed engine compartment. The doors open. Uh, the steering wheel turns the front wheels. The front seats tilt forward. The drive shaft uh, uh, rotates as the rear wheels are rolled. 
and the blonde passenger will suck your dick. For nineteen ninety nine. <laughs> the license the rear license plate flips down to review the gas filler cap. And this was a uh, this was a gift from uh, David J. Fucking Brown because uh, he's he's I don't know how much of it he even has anymore. David is a gigantic NASCAR fan. He used to uh, make a fair amount of money buying and selling NASCAR trading cards. And stuff like this. He didn't seem overly enthused when um, you don't miss a race. When he when he said he had to go home early the other day so he could watch the race, and I was like, they don't make no left turns in there, do they? <laughs> he didn't seem overly enthused about that joke. Yeah, he he doesn't miss a race through the season. Hey, you know what? Everyone's got their own hobbies. I know a lot of guys are huge sports fans, no matter what it is. I really don't give two shits about watching sports. I, I would rather play any sport than sit and watch a sport. I have to say, I have been a lot more excited about watching NASCAR since it came out on Netflix, and an entire race can be 15 seconds. I'd have to. You got to see the highlights and the crashes and the and the and the controversy and the drama, and didn't have to waste your entire afternoon. I'm gonna teach you the beauty of hunting and fishing. I'm serious. And I really enjoy the F1 series. Actually, you know what? Smelt season, Ugh. which is fishing, not a chance. Just was just just started. What do you mean not a chance? I I don't like anything about smelt. Getting them. Collecting them, looking so at them. Went, you've went and collected them before? No, that's a stiff. Forget about it. No, ish. What, then, about, what about eating them? Then it, no, no. You've tried them. I've cooked them for you, and you're like they're not bad. I, I was I was just trying to make you feel good. Really? And then afterwards, the beach smells like a fucking vagina farm. I don't go to the beach. Well, I mean, afterwards, when it's not no. Yeah, but I don't go to the beach. When they're all dead all over the beach, and it's. It smells like a fucking fraternity house on the rag. You know, I'm just trying to get you out to do something productive. Something... I am productive. See? I like that kind of fishing. Winter sports. Okay, can I read the second comment now? Um, I'm all ready for a cigarette already dealing with you. Yeah, getting there. <laughs> Getting there, yeah, Smile, right. money says second. Jolson says I five. <sighs> Wish Jolson would write this shit down. Oh, this one is actually a I miss. five. Oh, he was calling a board. I thought he was saying high five. <laughs> I should, I should text. I, I should have high five that. Too. Should text him the ones that have already been called because I have a sneaking suspicion the next one that he's gonna call is open. Then the next one after that was already called as a miss. Then the next one's open. Then the one after that was called as Why a miss. Why would you call him when you just told him and everyone else? I know I said that it's open as in this. It hasn't been called. Yeah. Versus that it has been called. Every other one, Jolson, has already been called as a miss. How is this board going? Wow. Is Jolson doing the bo border? Jolson... Jolson started here, and now he's going back, and this is Sharky going around. They're both building that wall. They're both doing a Trump. But see, that is so much... So much wasted calls. I guess they don't care. They're not trying to... Which is too bad. Sharky had a pile of stuff waiting here for him after the last... Mathematically, you go here... Then you go here, then you go here, then you go here. Do you see what I'm saying? Well, when Sharky was playing... Unless you want to do the whole random thing. You you don't have to go every other one. That's what, Every other one is a waste. If you are actually pro-level playing. Compared to going to every one, every other one is better. Because there's no one one peg ships. 
But there is a but one. There is a two. Th there is a one. There is a two. There is a one peg though, if you're in search of Colonel Mustard, because he is worth a bonus prize. And it used to be, what was he on? Was it E? E three. No, I thought he was like in the middle of the map. Uh, he was always E three. So okay. everybody, so everybody'd call E three every. Din would call E three twenty seven times in a row. Just to freak him out, I should have put him there like the tenth time. Alright, you know what? I've had enough of this bullshit. I'm going for a smoke. Let's go, guys. <sighs> Hang on. I have to check the oil in my Subaru. Uh, if you're naked, you're naked. Multi Gunman says, but what if you're naked? And Miss 27 says, no. no. Agent Chaos. My rule for mixing beer is, if it's not Jameson, it doesn't go in my beer. <laughs> wow, hardcore. What, what do you say? If it's not Jameson, it doesn't go in his beer. Jameson is... Who said that? Jameson is... That guy. Agent, Agent Chaos. <sighs> you know, I did that a lot in the cities. I'm sure I've said this before on the show. Down in the cities, everyone loves Jameson. So you'd always... You know, we'd play for drinks for pool and shit. And it was always... It was always Jameson. Or Jameson in a beer and they make it oh no you know what you do when you put a fucking shot of Jameson in a beer it makes the whole beer taste like shit just like Jameson you want one no no I don't not at all what kind of beer you want the best beer you want me to build you one? Build me one. <laughs> Going over to see Roger walk through the door. Want me to build you a sweet one? No! You know those little tiny cans of. I like her, but not really. No, no, she. No, no, you just I, steal her beer. You uh, wouldn't even be able to steal her beer. You see that right that's there? That's what I'm saying. No, look at her arms too. Her forearms oh. are fucking bigger than mine. I actually have some pretty decent forearms, actually. That bitch would kick your ass. Fucking agent chaos. Now they're getting a little weak, but back in the day, fuck, even in high school, I dude, I had the biggest forearms oh, ever. She's so fucking. For multiple Spent reasons. a lot of time doing that, you know. Don't drop, no, listen, don't drop the shot in there. Just pour, pour the shot in there. No, you just have to make sure you don't teeth it. You're, I was gonna say, you're gonna fucking chip a tooth, dude. You don't even work. You don't have dental. I have an appointment for I the know. third fucking time. I know. Can you believe it? Three times. So just bear with me and listen. Just pour the fucking shot into the beer. If you come crying after, I'm going to feel real bad because I fucking jinxed you. But I'm, I'm just... Don't do it. I've, I've actually seen like two or three people at the bar fuck their teeth up doing that shit. Yeah, but you gotta go for the dramatics of the drop. Whatever. Do what you do. Do what you're gonna do. I don't. Care. Do what you're gonna do, cause you're gonna do it anyway. Exactly. I'm gonna pull a Christine move right now and just that that that's my stance. Do what you're gonna do. I don't care. Do. I really don't care. It's you. I I, I gave you my warning. Give him the follow up. 
shot. I remember the first time I ever did that. It's amazing. Well, first of all, there's alcohol involved leading up to the moment where yep. you do a, a, a car bomb. Oh, I hit my I hit my teeth a couple times, and then, you know what? I just don't do it no more. Granted, I never broke my teeth doing that, but I have. I got a couple uh, chips on my front tooth once when I was really young. Brand new tooth, you know, because I was that young, so it was a new tooth. My dog, I had a husky, and it was always on a fucking chain. No, it lived outside. It was always on a big fucking like 40 cable, uh, 40 foot cable chain. I wanted to take it for, for a walk. That fucker dragged me across the yard, up at my dad's, the front yard. I don't, you've been there. There's a little rock, little hump in the middle of the front yard where a rock sticks out. The fucking dog dragged me across that and bounced my fucking tooth right off of it. That's how I chipped my tooth right away the first time. Well, I go to the dentist and they're like going, Oh, you got some chips on your front teeth. You know what that's from? Wiring. Bust Stripping it. wires. Uh-huh. Or, still sucking really small dicks. Let's not let that happen again. <clears throat> Fucking agent chaos. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. We don't hear much from him, though, do we? Um. Well, I think he, uh. I think he was a, 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 amongst a bunch of MIA people that didn't realize this channel existed. Gotcha. And he recently subscribed. So I think he's been watching lately. Gotcha. Sharky didn't shoot this, but he does have a bad habit. Oh, that was a question and Matt's head is in the way. If you were me, would you take the BMG style brake off the end of that and put a Huber brake on it? Mm. Now that's a tough decision because actually I really like this break. However, Stephen Bush recommended that. That was because of Stephen Bush. I really do like this break. However, I think I go to go. I got to go John Huber, just because two reasons. One, I know what his breaks do. And yeah, well, it's number two. I want to support him. However, hey, these these brakes not only th these brakes really look badass, and it actually works. Oh, I I know it's not very noisy of a gun. I don't know, maybe because the the noise is going. Yeah, we're an eleven. Yeah, we're at, we're a ten. Yeah, we're, our noise level is about a four. Ah, oh, fuck it. I don't know. It, it's almost like I have a. Uh, I have a crush washer. Ah, fuck! I have a crush washer on it. If I would have done the, uh, done one of these on there, I literally could go out to Island Lake and shoot it both ways. I have to look at the rifle he did for me. I don't even know if I have a crush washer on. He, he probably I, did. I was gonna say a little stupid. Well, but he also laved it. Oh, my oh he might have timed it. I was going to say, I think he might have timed it. Oh, he probably perfect. did. He, I mean, he did mine and yours at the same time. And yeah. mine mine is, that's, mine's timed. That's what I'm saying. I think he might have. I think yours is. I don't I, remember seeing anything. I think he might have timed my, because that's, that's my deer hunting rifle. And you know who I got that from. I won't say it. I don't want to throw anyone under the bus and get them in trouble. But I... I didn't say anything. Hey, by the way, speaking of the person that we're not talking about, did you start reading David J. Brown's book yet? <laughs> <laughs> no. <coughs> no, I want to. I want to take it to work, but I know it's going to get fucked up. Um, hey, fuck it up! Buy another one. Here's what I recommend. Well, here's his old sign and everything. Like he always doctor every. He always gives my grandma a book. 
And Take Grandma's book. Fuck that one up. Well, I would, but no. Get that's the Kindle two version. That's signed too. No, that, I, no, that's what I did. No, so it, I could bring it to the. It literally won't take. It won't take me long to read. I have read a few pages here and a few pages there and a few pages there because my grandma's reading it. So I, she'll tell me something and I just gotta laugh. So I go and read, you know, like a page or two here. It won't take me long. I, I, I did David's book in two days, but... That's what I'm saying. It won't take me long. It's not like um, a difficult book to read, and it's not... Like, the print is not tiny. I mean, it's 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 meant for David's eyes. They're, they're, it's, it's big letters. It was, it was awesome. If you did not hear my interview, slash fuckery, locked and loaded with David... That was a that was a fun that was literally like we've got to take our first break. I wish I would we've have got to fuck. We got to take this. I wish I've actually. I wish I would have read it and been there for that. It, considering, just considering the fact that I'm uh, one of, one of the main characters is my assumption uh, is, is star role of chapter three in Slosh's Matt. I literally, I had just swallowed my cup of, my or my drink of coffee, yeah. and I set it down, and I flipped the page. I'm like, oh, you fucker, I coughed on air. If I would have had my coffee in my mouth, it would have gone all over the living room. Now, now what, it, what, what it needs to say, here comes Matt sloshing in at 9.30 a.m. to go to bed. <laughs> I I don't know. Like I told you, because you haven't read it yet, you 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 will not be disappointed with your character. He he makes you pretty pretty badass. Well, he he made me sound like such a shit bag when he was telling me for the longest time. Well, he makes you sound like you're a total fucking hick until you have a gun in your hand. Yeah. Well, Any, anybody shooting the flame off of a candle? Yeah, you told me about that. And then cutting the candle down. Gentlemen? No, I can only really do that in real life, right? <laughs> Fuck. If I could hit the candle. Well, actually, I could even hit the fucking Actually, <laughs> actually, it might be possible. Depends what I'm shooting. Not depends on what you're shooting. It would have to be this. I don't know if I've shot this one yet, but we can go try it out. Next time we go out to the range. Or wait a second, to make it more authentic. Oh yeah, you gave me a loaded one, you motherfucker. I was ready to pop it like it's hot. <laughs> you know, I like the revolvers, but I just find them uh, just not... Nearly as practical. Maybe this is uh, more like That's it. more my style. I really like that. I really like the chromed out. At least you got to clear this time. That one's fucking badass. Which one is it? Christine's. This is it Colt? It's a Uberti, you birdie. But it's built on the Colt platform. I? Oh, I was seeing... I seen Cal. I just seen the C right away, so I kind of unless I got an actual authentic Colt, I would buy a Uberti any day. They're fucking badass. Hey, wait a second. We could take this one step farther. I've got one you have to shoot because I always overlook this fucking thing. Baby, where are you? The trigger on this is real nice. Oh, fuck, hold my beer and watch this, fucker. Oh, jeez. One, two, three, four, five, six, Matt. First boy. Jesus Christ, what the fuck? 44s? No. 
These are bigger than 40. No, it's the same as that one. This is a 45 Colt. But these are Mikey's. These may be a little more zesty. Feel the fucking trigger on this. Me and Nihap have not come to the conclusion if that is a very loved gun or a trigger job. But it's half of Christine's. This this that, is this is at also first, a, your at, birdie. At first, I thought that actually was uh, stronger, but after a couple pulls, yeah, that's that's a lot lighter. It just happened to be the first one. Maybe maybe where I gripped it, you know, like on my finger, grip felt it. like a little uh, grip it, felt and like, rip it. No, it just felt like a little bit more pull. Um, no, no, I know you've shown this to me. Yes, I, I don't even remember what they are though. So that's a learning experience. So Christine's first. We did come to the conclusion that yeah, okay. Yeah, don't do this one. This one's fucking I'm putting this one over on the Now that side. one is ten millimeter. Yeah, and it's also loaded, that's why I Off my fucking hand. Okay. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No, no, no. You gotta put it in the middle. Put it in the middle where you're gonna pull from. Bounced off my hand. Yeah, you're an idiot. You don't even have it. Fucking thing cocked back. 14 ounces. Her titties are starting to look like wings the way she's spreading them, but I tell you what, I won't be opposed to her. Okay, so this is this is uh, one pound 11 ounces, and I got that twice in a row. Tell you though, that's that still swings pretty fucking hard after bouncing off my. That's gonna be about a pound or just under. Eight ounces. That's a half a pound. Six ounces. That's that's under a half a pound. It's fucking huge, but. That's almost why I worry about that. You drop that motherfucker and you're putting a hole somewhere. I don't know. I have so many fucking guns that when we start to rummage through the safe, and I'm like, God damn it. This was so much fun to shoot, and that yet I haven't brought it back up. Have you ever done one of these tests? Have you ever done one of these tests, the, the drop tests? I don't want to really drop it, but I mean, you ever... I haven't gotten anything to fire. Uh, the only thing I've, out, I've ever questioned is my Mosin. I would, I would question this. I would. I'm serious. I would well, question I this know, because. Well, I did hit it. I hit it a couple times. Good. Yeah, I hurt my hand too, actually. No. I... <clears throat> but we're. That's still probably not what's gonna happen if you drop it from any. Decent height. It's gonna have more force. Well, if we're gonna do a fair test. No, don't. No, no. Just. No, this thing is kick ass. I do like Christine's though. Case hardened, case hardened uh, uh, pins and screws. I I like the chromed out look too though. I'm sorry. I I really. But I don't like the the blued look. Or the what, what's the heart? The, what's it? The hardened look they call it when it's all different colors. I don't like that. You know what? I don't mind necessarily a blue or a black gun, but preferably I like my shit chromed out. This is another gun in my collection that should have never been shot. They only made a really small number of these. 
They well, were very limited. Didn't we just talk about that recently, though? And yet... Didn't we talk about that recently, though? Like, the guns to collect and the guns not to shoot? I, I don't know. I don't believe in... I don't believe in a single gun that shouldn't be shot. Well, I also agree with that. But that's just me. However, I mean, that just means if you really want to try to make money off it. The problem is you I wanna never... Make, I want to make love. But you it. never know if a gun is actually going to go up in value. And, you know, only time will tell. So, obviously, yeah, you want to shoot every gun. Mama. And a good... And a good a good valuable gun where it's rare and it's going to increase in price it's still going to increase in price you are going to go up maybe twofold compared to tenfold that's the problem my mind says well youtube deleting comments repeating words said in the video you just watch is really effective laugh out loud multi-gun man i'm here hey. Where's hey. the whiskey and 357s? Hey, I want to know this. To, to Everyone house? keeps sending you these buttons. When the fuck are they going to send a delete button? So every time Smile Money says some shit, I can just hit delete. Bullshit detected. Take precautions. He's not always bullshit, though. As much as I might bust his balls. Or vice versa. He's not always bullshit. He just might not be what I want to hear. Mr. 27 sub comment to the house of gun and whiskey. Bad says, greetings, Captain. Then he says, Amazon is very good about uh, taking returns. I wonder if they took that Bloody Mary mix back as a return. Uh, they, no, uh, Bad, that's how this all started. It popped up saying this is a non-returnable item. Would you like to review it? I'm going to say, okay, game on. What was that for? Uh, my first bottle of that lava tasted off, and then I realized that there was dried mix on the, under the wrapper. It had taken a hit. It was taken on air, and it, uh, it was, I mean, it was dried to the point where I wondered if it happened... Long before they so shipped was it, to it me. So it was, did you try it again, like a different bottle? They saw my one-star review and asked if they could send me another bottle. I seen you do, because you just did that the other day. Yes. Was it better? Yes. Yes. I actually liked, in all fairness, because... So you think the first bottle was tampered and just sold basically cheaper or, as is? Where it took on air? And had gone bad. Well, yeah, yeah. So there, there, something obviously some issue. Yeah, yeah. No, um, their Bloody Mary mix. I like their Bloody Mary mix. I like their bloody personal favorite. I like their really. Oh yeah, she's. Dude, she looks fine, but it looks like she's got a fucking vagina that goes up to her fucking belly button. I think this is just all too tight. Oh, I don't know. That looks weird to me. Actually, I got a picture of her with hey, no clothes on. And she looks a lot better. The top half looks good, but she looks like she got a thick fucking waist and a small, medium. I, I think there she is looked a, too I, curvy for I me. Think there was a lot of pressure. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Look, really curvy for me. Hey, I'm kind of thirsty. I want to try something different. Dad here. says hams is definitely a high end lager. Hey, find us, yeah. find us a shot. You pick. Find us a shot. No. Yeah. No. No, I I don't know what I want. That's why I'm saying no. You got to pick something different. How? Some, how if you something don't different. Know. Something so, different. Because I don't know. Something different. Something different. I go over there and I give you something different. I already looked over there. I started over there. See, this is all good, good, and this is all questionable. Well, last couple times I said do the skull shots. Uh, lately, I've been doing, uh, you know, in the garage, it's been um, uh, red, what is it, red? Johnny Walker, red? Johnny Walker. How about some Tabasco? No. Well, you said something different. Yes, I oh, did. Oh, you're like, okay, Christine, I see where this is going. 
I really want. No, I don't want that. Okay, how about we do this? No, I don't want. Oh, it. Th I, the the problem with that was it no. had Tabasco. I don't want. I don't want nothing with like that. Oh, God. Artificial heat. Damn. Or or that. Agent Chaos. After the fact, I found a virgin bottle of actual Jameson. Now, I would. I'll, you know what? I don't even like Jameson, but I would. I would do that over the Jameson you pulled out. No, see, here's the thing. The IPA is okay, but I find it a little on the bitter side. They came out with the Jameson Stout Edition. That was fucking good. I don't think I've actually had that. Um, but that, that first Jameson you pulled out, I don't want no part of it. But regular Jameson, eh, I, I would do it. What's that? They don't even look good. It's a plastic flask. <laughs> It's you know what I'm preferred. not even you know what I'm not even argue I'm just gonna grab another beer and pour a beer, you pick okay. and you know what I'm not even gonna look I'm not even gonna look. Oh, it's a fucking mother Irish. You know I'm not a fan. I, I'm not even oh, gonna look. God. I'm not even gonna no. look. No, I'm just not a do fan. Do your thing. I'm actually gonna go and even pour my beer in the other room while you pour shots because I don't even want to know what it is. I'm serious. Don't even want to know what it is. Just make sure it's whiskey. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, this buffer really tickles the penis. I'll tell you what. Okay, I didn't need to know that, but I'll tell you when you can come back over here. Dude, you ever polish your knob on this thing? Um. I'm going to lead with no comment. It looks so shiny now. Hey, the basement is starting to get a little bit more um, floor space. I'll give you that. You, so, know how, you know how much shit I have thrown away in the last two weeks? Well, so here's my question for you. Uh-huh. Well, keep doing what you're doing, I guess. Oh, yeah, well, is, is, I would be if you yeah. weren't here. Can I come back or yeah, no? Yeah, yeah, you're good. You, keep doing what you're doing, I mean, unless it's useful stuff. But here, here, here's my advice. we got to start growing some more shit down here. Well, but we got to start growing some shit that's worth money, if you know what I mean. Hey. Like hot peppers? I can hook us up on the seeds. Or, not necessarily seeds, but the, the splices. Is that what they do? They splice it? I cannot acknowledge knowing what you're talking about right now. You don't have to acknowledge it, but you know what I'm talking about? No! Alright. That's, that's what they say is how you're supposed to do it. I, fuck, I don't know. I don't grow the shit. You know what? I was actually thinking about putting one in my backyard this this summer. Just to see how an outdoor grows. You know why? Like when my mom goes, Cause it's God, now that is such a pretty plant. What is that? Because it's now legal in Minnesota. And I don't give a shit. Yeehaw. It well it's legal and I, I, I just wanna I've never grown one. Bad. Never had a Michelada before. I need to try it. Oh, they're not bad. That's the that's the that, that's the Michelob. Uh, you screwed up my back to back. This was supposed to be today. The Zing Zang version. What Zing Zang Michelada? Mm -hmm. Yesterday was. Uh, Why'd you let me lava. stop you? Uh, you know I love Zing Zang, you motherfucker. But do you like? This and beer? I wouldn't say no. Okay, so that is when he realized he fucked up. I didn't fuck up. I didn't get an option. Not me. This one, I realized I fucked up. Authentic. Just to have beer. Now, um, I, I did not enjoy the lava. Because it had a very, very heavy vinegar. 
flavor. Was that the first one or the second? That I had? Yeah. Well, I had like four. But I, I thought had you like, said vinegar had the, the, or the, the lava was not good, and then they. Oh no, the Bloody Mary. They sent. I I bought a Bloody Mary off of Amazon. Didn't like it. Realized that it probably went bad. They sent me another one. I like that. Then, as a treat, Lava sent me a Michelada, and I reviewed that one yesterday. And I did not like their Michelada. So tell me again, how do you play this unemployment card? Drink. <laughs> no, it's drink and complain of service. <laughs> Get free shit. What the fuck? Get free shit from uh, alcohol producing companies. I gotta start making videos, I'll tell you what. Smile Money's waiting for that day. <clears throat> wow! That's what I think about that. Jesus. I was holding it in, just I, waiting. I think I saw your jacket move. Dude, it did. It wafted in the wind. Please tell me that I'm not gonna smell that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, I smell a little bit. Usually my farts are pretty clean. <laughs> They're not like yours. Holy <laughs> fuck. You... You don't clear a room, you clear the fucking basement, dude. I can knock a buzzard off a shit wagon. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's fucking very true. Smile Money says, The 5.7 is the reason you need to remove all your magazine disconnects. Magazines just fall out frequently in your collection. Not on anything other than the 5.7. Unless you hand a firearm to Sharky, and then you can watch a happy stick explode right here. What what, what, what was that one on? What? On Sharky? Yeah. Uh, the MCK. It's got the spare mag up front. It's only held in by friction. It fell What's out. What's the 5.7 he's talking about? Oh, yeah, the, uh, the FM 5.7. I've never had a problem with that. I have a problem with it that's now what I, that's being what in a holster. Asked. No, but that's why I ask, because I'm also curious, because uh, we're not talking about no Ruger that I need to be worried about, huh? No, the Ruger locks in. <clears throat> no, I haven't had a problem with it yet, but that's what I just... No, I, the, just the, the FN57 has an extended mag release, and it actually, when you wear it in the holster, it the holster hits the button and ejects the magazine. I found an old video... I thought it was awesome. I just saw this the other day. See this? 2021. That was the first time out. First time out he shot. Right? Just like I told you. Let me go. Let me keep going back. You go ahead. Read your comments. I gotta f I'll find another one. Joseph says, How messed up is it that if you take the app? Uh, cash option after taxes you only get 25% of the original jackpot smile money says 24% federal income tax withheld but you will uh, be 37% tax bracket then Minnesota will take 9.85% yeah welcome to Minnesota smile money maybe Matt can teach you the science of pull tabs so the lottery is not your only income producing strategy. Uh, it's not even mine. Not even a lie. I haven't been doing good on pull tabs lately. I gotta stop playing for another couple months. Smile money? If something happened to Christine, I'd probably never buy a fucking pull tab or pull tab. I'd never buy a lottery uh, ticket again. I mean, when your best that you can hope for is four bucks, yeah, fuck that. I mean, pull tabs are odds, but. The nice thing with pull tabs over like lottery tickets is you can look at the box and you still have like a relative odd. I like hitting, you know, brand new boxes. I'd like to hit or a, I'd like to hit a brand new box. I like to hit brand new boxes or uh, I like to hit uh, boxes that are damn near empty with several 
big ticket winners still yet in them. Jeff says cheers all. Here, let's let's zoom ahead one to see if I would hit that box or not. Oh, here it is. Uh, this is almost about the oh, same. I'd hit that box. I'd even let the camel watch. I would let the camel fucking lick her ass while I'm going at it. Might even get my nuts involved. Oh shit, volume's down. Same again. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that creature in the wild. <laughs> I saw that. I, I saw this last night at work, looking through old shit. Look why, at that why, were, why were we shooting pistols on the rifle range? I don't know. That's you, man. Must have brought a rifle over there. Target. I think that's when you're trying to sight in. You couldn't hit a damn target. <laughs> that's like something new. No, it's not. It, you never hit the target, and this is the excuse I always hear. Fucking shaky. I had too much coffee this morning. Hey, problem is, is there's always coffee involved. All right, you ready for this? Cheers. Buddy. Then after eleven o'clock, there's alcohol involved. It's not eleven o'clock. It's noon. Quit selling your short self short. It's always noon somewhere. <laughs> well, I'm gonna gag on this one. Hold on, let me let me try it and I'll tell you I'll see if I can tell you what it is. <coughs> well it's definitely a whiskey. It um it seems to have like a butterscotch flavor. So I don't know if I can necessarily name what that would be without looking Well, sure, I'm a pain in the arse about commenting on the uh, getting back to work. I just do not know anyone that doesn't work and needs money uh, being happy. Here's the problem, though. I'll argue with you on this one, Smile Money. And, uh, when me and Eric took that break, here's the problem. Eric's going through the same problems right now, not working, as I am working. None of us have enough money to do anything. You know what he has that I don't have? Freedom to do whatever the fuck he wants, whenever he wants. Now, that doesn't help him pay his bills, but, I mean, this world's fucked as it is right now and there's going to be a major change very soon because you know what april 8th. i was i was just looking no the i was just looking going down on april 8th you know how much do you know how much you have to have to afford a median house in minnesota right now oh under the greatest economy it's ridiculous you know why there's so few uh, home ownerships under the biden administration because of that number you got to make over $92,000. Guess what? I don't even... I'm, I make 62000 about well, 62000 a year right now, unless I work a bunch of overtime. There's times I've made uh, close to 100000 but I'm working a shit ton. And I hate my life because all I do is work and sleep. Right now, I try to balance it out as best I can, and I'm at about 62, 65. In our area, Minnesota, you need to make $92,000 to be able to afford a medium house of, I don't know what they said, 230000 or 320000 whatever the case is. Tell you what. There's no fucking way I can afford a $230,000 house or a $320,000 house. 
there's no fucking way. I'm looking at, even if I got a $150,000 house, I can't afford that with all the fucking taxes, with all the utilities, with the fact I got to pay for gas to drive, to drive to work, pay for my vehicle, pay for food. I can't afford a $100,000 house right now. You say whatever you want. That's the fucking truth. Yeah, maybe I might drink and smoke too much. Yeah, I do. But I tell you what, that's not what's stopping me from paying for a fucking house. I, I guarantee you that. It's, they're making it damn near impossible to buy a fucking house. That's what I said, write that down. You laugh at that? You piss off. I'm laughing at the uh, fucking snake going to the birdhouse says, Hello, Mrs. Bird. I'm from the government and I'm here to help you. Yeah. While they take our kids and fucking brainwash them out of school. No oh, shit. And I wonder, I wonder how I ended up with uh, one out of two completely understanding where the fucking liberal uh, bullshit is. Well, I was, I was just... Sorry, carry on. But, but the other one, which I would have originally said is really, really ultra-liberal, uh, lives, with, lives with someone like me, politically, <laughs> and things have changed. What the hell was this? I can't figure it out. I know it's not from that shelf. T well... I'll, I'll give you that. Din says, yeah, E, they got a, a habanero, a margarita, jalapeno, mojito, or something like that. 20 things on their site. Easy E, their jalapeno margarita is the best margarita I've had, and uh, I've had my fair share over the years. Evidently, I need to explore. Din, did you uh, try the uh, chilada with vodka? No. Mike says, cheers. David J. Fucking Brown says, Hi, Poopsie. It's almost your birthday. Hey, that chilada? <coughs> There's less that tequila up there. Did you figure out what this is? No, I can't. What was it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> no, it was not E and J. <laughs> really? It tasted like it had... It, it it tastes like whiskey with a little yeah. flavor added to no, it. No, it, it tastes like whiskey, but it had a really, like a toffee taste or what they might know because they were watching. I can't quite remember what I originally said. It has a different taste. It that does not taste anything like I ever remember actual cheap-ass brandy. My mother never had anything but a cheap-ass brandy. It wasn't it was bad. Like, it wasn't bad, but it had... It, it, it was whiskey. I could tell that. But it had, it, it, had, you know, it had something else to it. You know what it reminds me of? A pecan flavor. Something. Really? Okay. It reminds me of this level of the bamboo. Not the bamboo that I really yeah, like. Yeah, No, I get that. I gotta find something that that version of bamboo mixes with. Because I can't do that in Coke. straight shots. Coke. Uh, I could compromise for Sprite, 7-Up, or Ginger Ale. Rum and Coke smash so well. But it's... That's it's not shit. a bad that rum. That shit is more like a whiskey, though, than it is a rum. But that's, but that's what I'm trying to tell you. 
Well, whiskey and coke also is fine too. That is, n here's the thing. You can't judge that with the comparison of the bee's knees. You know what I mean? From them. Try with a little coke. I think it'd be all right. Personal favorite. You say that about so many of them. But she is, uh, you know what? She could play the perfect part with the Roger Rabbit. The way her shape is, she could be mm, right here. Rich says, the acidity in the Michelada should be from the lime, not from vinegar. Rich, if you like Michelada, try the lava and tell me what you think of it. Personal favorite. No, no, no. I play pool with her all day long. That, that for me, sink the eight that ball. for me is a personal. I, I'd sink the pink ball on that all day long. I'd play pool with her Poon all doggy. I'd play pool with her all night and all day. I just, if I play pool with her, I'd want to play in an air conditioned area, if you know what I mean. I wouldn't care where it is. She's also, she's nice, but she's looking a little aged. She's a little old for me. Do not take life too seriously. Where is it well, though? Do one, not one of us will ever get out of it alive. What do you say? Do not take life. Seriously, yeah. Do not take, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to get out no, of it. No, yeah. No, absolutely. Rich says, I fully approve of the outro. I'm amazed that made it. Because if I used that as an intro, it would have gotten deleted. That was an original B and E brew reviews with all of the naked chicks sitting on the dock. You see their fine little asses. Uh, smile money. Those damn spring snowflakes in Minnesota ruin all of the range fun. Then he said, Bud Light Chilada is very popular in your neighborhood. Imagine my surprise. Big hit when Matt performs Drag Queen Night at the Players. Oh, look at all the freckles on that. She's not even a redhead. I was going to say, actually, she don't look too bad, but her lips are uh, way big, and uh, I'm not yeah. a fan of the freckles. Yeah, we wouldn't want to put my penis anywhere near her lips. Just kidding uh, Poco says, sup. Then he says, just got home from doing early birthday stuff. Then he says, B4. So when is your birthday? Matt Davis. Fuck bud. We buy Michelada in styrofoam cups like Big Cuppo. Noodle cup and spice powder inside in the spicy, salty, mmm, my rim. Good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Did that make you feel a little weird there? Matt Davis, H9. Sorry. Okay, for Matt Davis. Didn't mean to do that to you. Matt Davis, what? Matt, uh, H9 has already been called. It was a hit on a sunk ship. Then you know the what? You're just going to start saying denied, motherfucker. Denied? Denied. McLean, nobody you know can hold their booze. Have you hung out with this? McLean, every time Mr. Brown sends you a 10 millimeter ad, I'm sending him an alcohol ad. You know, I gotta say though, with McLean though, well, us not holding our booze. He's right. No one can hold their booze. I'll drink to that. Yeah, I'm gonna too. But, tell you what. McLean, motherfucker, why don't you come up here and say that to our face while we're drinking a bunch of beers together? We'll see who gets fucked up first. You're being rude. You're fake, you're fake news. You're fake news. Stop being rude. You were, fine. Fake news. you were supposed to drink to that, too. Again? Well, was I wrong or was I right? 
Oof, jeez. McLean, my son bought himself a bottle of Glenlivet 14 year old for his 21st birthday. Makes Papa proud. Good stuff, but that's, oh, that's a tough one on the 21st. Anyways, yeah. back to McLean though. It, y you won't know unless you're uh, ever here to see that. It's tough to judge someone unless you're out there drinking with them. Then I glance at the clock, and it's that bullshit thing where you look at the clock and go, right now it's one, two, three, four. 1234. McLean, uh, for my son's 24th birthday, he bought himself a Glenlivet 14. What? Okay, I read that twice. You sent that twice. Uh, Wade, happy birthday, my friend. Thank you, it's Wade. It's his birthday yet. Well, this comment, this comment is before the next comment, which will be during my birthday, if I get one of these done before. Because I, I told Chris, Christine was actually, she's like, well, you can just meet us up at uh, the restaurant. Because Dave and Bunky are buying me a... Uh, kind of burp. <coughs> Dave and Bunky are treating me to my birthday dinner up at our favorite restaurant. And Christine goes, you could meet us there. I could meet you there. Means I can't do the brew review before I head out. What's means your, what's your favorite restaurant? Big Daddy's? No. Their favorite restaurant. It's okay, well, that what, fucking what, ship has sailed. What, what, what's what's your favorite restaurant that you're supposed to go to? Grandma's. Grandma's? Yeah, they fucking suck. I'm with you. Since COVID, that fucking plane crashed, burned to the ground, they picked up all the ashes, they pissed on it, they lit all the ashes on so fire. So why haven't you said that uh, that is not your favorite restaurant at all? Because it's Bunky's favorite restaurant, so that's where it ends. Alright, well, I'm going to have a talk with Dave today. Good luck, because I tried to. I said we should try someplace like Clyde Iron. Clyde is added some pretty good I don't shit. give a shit. I will talk to Dave after this show. I'm serious. I'm going to talk to Dave and I am you can, you can say what you want. I would have liked to have gone to Texas Roadhouse. Ooh, I really like her. If Texas Roadhouse's She's atmosphere in. wasn't the Different. worst fucking restaurant in the area. Yeah. It's like there's no noise dampening from above. They get out there with their fucking hee-haws. You want to draw a fucking gun and just start dropping people. I could not have a com... From right there. Me and you could not have a conversation. Because it's too fucking loud. Let me tell you what? I really don't like you putting your hand on me like that. Don't ever do... Uh, that, 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 that'll oblige. <laughs> Clyde's jealous right now. Oh, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sharky, <laughs> could you get this for me? No, I... Before... And you said something. Before COVID... You said something. But, but, but you've said something to David. I said I, I want to go to Clyde. That was a weak response. I know. If I tried any harder, I would... Shit leave. yourself. I'd have to, like, squeegee. <laughs> and, and throw shit away. <laughs> no, uh... Fucking grandmas is like gra grandmas is a shithole. It's yeah. They they drop oh, half okay. of their shit off of their menu because of COVID. They uh, more than uh, uh, magnified their prices and they drop their quantities. So it's shitty food, less of it, and it's more expensive. I get it. I get it. Uh, Mr. 27 says 43rd. Then he says FJB Brewbomi Brew Company FN uh, do it do it already. And the last comment as of an hour and 15 minutes ago was EMT saying F5 Just pick up a, just pick up a peg. F five is a miss. 
Now, where is it that you, uh... Then he says, toot toot. Then he says, and... Where, where, where is it you... Ooh, she's Watch nice, too. Is, it, is there a preference place you'd like to go? <laughs> Famous Dave's or... or Steakhouse uh, or sushi place? No, I mean, or, I mean overall, I like Clyde, Clyde Iron. Yeah, they ain't bad. They're close, too. Famous Dave's is good. I have not been to Famous Dave's since they moved to their new location. I haven't either. And that was obviously also before COVID, so... Yeah. Did, how many places did COVID kill? Yeah. No, I mean, you're not wrong. But, I mean, wasn't that intentional? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, yeah. It, that was a run to see how easily they can man manipulate the American... Well, the world. Have you ever been to OMC yet? Yeah. Their food is okay. But before COVID, oh. it was twice as expensive as I'd want to pay. I love OMC. Oh, no, they got some good shit. The flavors they there? Well, they mm. smoke all their food in-house every day. Oh, no, no, I won't, I won't argue with the food. Um, the problem was... Is They're tied up, though, with Duluth Grill. They're the same business, like, company or family, whatever, that owns all that shit. That's too bad, because Duluth Grill is yeah, the worst no, restaurant I, in the Same area. here. I do not like Duluth Grill. It's like, However, OMC, though, dude, they got some good food, and they literally, they smoke their food every day. They literally have oh, no. smokers. You, you walk outside... And you see nothing but a stack of different style of wood. The food was great. But this was before COVID and it was yeah. me me, Christine it's and not Joey. Cheap. It's not Joey. Cheap. Went no, I get there. it. I get it. It's not <laughs> cheap, but that's I just I just wonder if you ever been there. Oh yeah, it was good. It was really good. Matter of fact, I think I threw it out with all of the garbaging, but I had some oh, uh, OM OMC. Where, where I had I had a bottle of their their where, sauce where, in the where, fridge. Where, where would you prefer to go if you had a choice tomorrow, or whenever? Uh, like whatever day, if you're going to go out to a restaurant, where, well, where would I'm, you? Well, if I'm if I'm supposed to treat myself, let's just say that you just won a lottery and you said, Eric, I want to take you to the place you want to go for your birthday. Probably be the Pickwick. Okay. Um, a compromise would definitely be Clyde Iron. Okay. One of the last places, overall, personal favorite. Because that's, that's my girl. Um, Big Daddy's. <laughs> no, I think I'd rather, I think I I'd rather, love, I think I I'd love rather go to Big Daddy's than fucking uh, Grandma's. I know, that's why I just... I, grandma's is just so fucked themselves. We used to enjoy. We used to meet David and Bunky once a month, and we went to uh, Grandma's. Nobody ever complained. Then COVID hit, and they, they dropped their menu, their service went to shit, their fucking quality went to shit, the taste of their food went to shit. It's, Grandma's, you're a fucking embarrassment to the restaurant, restaurant world. Unfortunately, COVID... COVID wrecked a lot of really good shit. Well, I wonder, too, though, because Grandma's is kind of smaller, right? They're more local. I think they have two restaurants in Duluth, and they might have a few on the Iron Range. But that's what I'm saying. I think they're more local, right? Mm-hmm. And they used to be a decent... They still got Grandma's Sports Garden where they make a lot of money. But... Off of... Un Un, un, uninformed tourists. But I also, th I also think mm. that not only COVID hit them, potentially that flood that flooded them out a few years ago up in Hermantown. Well, they obviously had to make some money to that. Well, they had to redo I'm, the whole I'm, restaurant. I'm, I'm not saying that it's right or wrong. They could do it better, but they've definitely had some few. They've had a few setbacks in the past past decade. They've had like mm, I would I would call it catastrophes of 
couple catastrophes to hit to hit their business. Not saying that's right or wrong what like their service or their food, but <clears throat> they've definitely been hit hard. Not trying to make an excuse. I just wanted to know what you feel about it. To be honest, I've never overly liked grandmas. Hell, the only grandmas I like is a sports car, and that's because there's tons of fucking chicks down there, and they serve fucking Long Island teas and get you fucked up for cheap. Just my thought. But, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, you know what? How about this? Uh, so, you, you, you said uh, that about that about your meal. Is there anything specific you would like for uh, your birthday that's not uh, crazy out of hand? Oh, my, a personal favorite would always be prime rib. Prime rib, really? Boneless prime rib. I mean, filet mignon, but uh, due to the price point, I have never really, like, Relish that me and you a and few you said times. Your birthday's that, tomorrow, mm -hmm. but you're going out tomorrow to eat. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow night, as soon as Christine's done, she's coming down to pick me up, and then we're going up to Scamma's. I mean, Grandma's. Oh Prime rib. There's not as. Oh, that's it? No, ribeye. Sorry, I meant boneless ribeye. I'm sorry. Ribeye, okay. So, ribeye. There's not no special knife or no gun part you need. It, you want ribeye, huh? Well, you said... Did you say food? I don't say anything. What do you want for your birthday? Uh, uh Springfield Hellion. I said with... <laughs> with a 16-inch barrel. I said within reason, you know. Well, come on, man. Okay, we're gonna make this work right here. I actually, I'm pretty sure <laughs> they, they might be able part. to go back. I said, like a knife or you know something. But you already got too many knives. I don't even know what. But all right, all right. Just you know, ponder out. You know what? You don't even have to stay on the camera. Just ponder for a little bit. We'll go out for a smoke after the show, and you tell me what you think you might be interested in. Might be able to give you a good birthday wish. Okay, we gotta we gotta get through this because I'm about to piss my pants. Okay, first I guess we have to like talk about this. I got a number in my brain. They got a number in my brain and I'm gonna hold it up right now. Well, I, I was gonna show them, but I can't. I can't even do that because you'd be like, "Oh, damn!" Her face looks like she's thirteen, fourteen, but her body looks fucking. Everybody says that. Yeah, the pictures just keep on coming from Brad. That is so wrong, but so right at the same time. I understand why the Democrats. I don't think. I don't think you grow that body as a fourteen-year-old, though. So. No, I I get it, but I understand why there's so many pedophiles in there. Uh, you know, in our um, government, if if that's how they potentially look, I'm not saying it's right. That's fucked up. Okay. But I'm just saying she 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 looked young, but very very hot too. Jolson says the club needs more cowbell. Give it a score. Mama, he says, oh, I oh, didn't. Okay, now this is an early review. Cheers, Clevers. You know what? I really like that dress that she's wearing, too. It's just got that perfect little, uh, like, you know, paisley see through, like, a little, just perfect. It looks so good on the floor. Yeah. Swami says, uh, okay, now this is an early review. Cheers, Clevers. And uh, Mr. 27 says, holy fuck, early brew balmy show club time, mister. Eric's not working nowadays, so he's more on my time. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I'm not saying that's a good thing. Did you review this? But actually, it is nicer for me because I don't have to go to sleep for like three hours and then wake up and try to fucking come over here all fucked up. Bad says, Howdy Clevers, welcome to Hump Day. Hump Day! Then he says, Can we get a. Yes, you can. You know what? She's real cute. I want to say she's like overly sexy, but she's real cute. She got, she got a good shape. Her, she just looks like a cum dumpster. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm okay. I, I am too. I'm, but I'm just saying. Precious, cheers. She just looks like she wants to fucking suck the cum right out of you. All right, gave it to her. Pat says happy birthday to you, good sir. Thank you. Then he has a, looks like a happy smiley face. Sharky, April 4th is like April 1st, just different. Happy birthday tomorrow. And then Sharky says, well, YouTube ate my cheers all comment. Yeah, I, wow. I, I can see that. I mean, cheers all, that is definitely provocative. Good job, woke tube. They're good at that. And that's it. And then we get to go. Did you give us the score? I did. I I personally give it an eight and a half. Oh, really? What did you give it an eight and a half? My good sir. My good sir. You must be getting desperate. I got higher than you? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Like I said, you must be getting desperate. No, I give it an 8. I give it an 8. Actually, I've, I, I've barely touched my second beer yet. Well, I'm that far into the second beer. So. No, th this is still partially filled. Um, this is literally my second beer on standby. Granted, we did a couple drinks, a couple shots, or whatever. Um, but this this is good. Don't get me wrong. This is good. Um, I'm just a little off on the... A little off on the name. I didn't... It's good, but it's a double IPA. I didn't expect it to be fruity or anything and I actually for a double I never found the alcohol percentage on it's here. eight percent that's, that's not double a regular should be like five percent okay. not for an IPA IPAs are like five and a half six I don't know what you're drinking boss okay well I'm I'm beyond containment so we need to go no he so, needs to go oh oh Oh, 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 I, th I think I just shit.